Well, Jade, I wanted to talk about something that is about as exciting as stepping on a Lego brick, and that is <laughs> taxes. But uh. I want to make sure our audience knows about all of the tax changes, maybe some tips and tricks to help them along the way, remind them of some deadlines, yeah. all the good stuff. Let's do it. So let's start with the, the big day to celebrate. Uh, the holidays aren't over. April 18th is the filing deadline for all federal tax returns and payments. You can start filing at the end of this month. Mm -hmm. You'll start getting those W-2s from your employer if uh, that's your situation. Don't put it off, guys. No. And the good news is you can start getting some of the paperwork ready now, which is, you know, make it a date night. Have oh, fun yeah. with it. You're going to start getting those paperwork's in for your investment statements, mortgage interest statements, 1099s, whatever have you. Just kind of pull all those together, put them in a folder for when it's time. That's right. And the extension deadline is October 16th, if you are in that bucket there. Mm. And so there's some good news about this year's ta uh, taxes. There are some some bad news too. Yeah. So the good, the good news is uh, the standard deduction uh, continues to climb, which that's is good, good because that lowers your taxable income. Yes, that is correct. We like that. Anything that's going to make us pay less taxes, that is a good thing. You want the bad news now? I No. You know what, George? Let's skip that. Oh. I'm just kidding. We can't skip it. Well, the bad news is uh, you're going to get a smaller refund this year across the board because there was no economic impact Ugh. payments. So you remember all the expanded tax yeah. credits? Like It was like, and you have a kid. Here's $5,000, and you have a kid. Bro, they went off. Like, the amount of money that was coming through, I was like, what's We have two kids. I was like, what is happening? This is different. It was wild times. So oh, yeah. all of that is gone. The expanded tax credits and deductions are reverting back to their pre-COVID-19 amounts. Well, the charitable, charitable contributions deduction, mm -hmm. that is out. And mm -hmm. so uh, if most people are going to file with the standard deduction. Yes. Which, so only yeah. do itemized if you can get more than you would have with the standard. Yeah. And you need to really sit down with a professional to really see how that works, if especially if you have a business, a small business. You definitely want to get into that with a, you know, because you've got the personal side and your business side. So Yes. So if you're wondering, all right, I may not get a refund. I might owe. How do I save some money this tax season? Well, mm -hmm. the two magic words are deductions and credits. Hit me. And these two can get squishy in people's brains. So here's yes. an easy way to think about it. Deductions help lower the amount of your income that can be taxed. So that's kind of before. That's the right. After is the tax credit. So think about you get your final bill at the restaurant. Mm -hmm. This is going to it's like a actually coupon. give you credits off of that final bill amount. And so think about things like earned income tax credit, child tax credit. You've heard that. Child independent care credit. Yep. Education credit. So you need to be aware of all the credits and deductions you might qualify for. Yep. Yep. And again, working with a tax professional, they'll help you know that. I mean, you don't have to know everything, but it's good to go in there with an idea to just kind of make sure everything's on the up and up. You know what I'm saying? Yes. And to add to your homework here, there are something called above the line deductions, which are really helpful. So there's things you can still do, even though we're in 2023, uh -huh. to lower your taxable oh, income. Oh, great idea. Bill. Yeah. Talk about that. That's great. So one of them that is great is the HSA. If you have a high deductible health plan with an HSA and you contributed to that HSA, you can deduct that from That's your taxable right. income. So it's not too late to do that. It's not. Uh, another one is IRAs. If you fund your traditional IRA, you can do that through, you know, April 18th. And I think a lot It'll of people forget that. I think people think that it's over in January because like the year is restarting, but you've got until you've got until tax day, April 18th. Yes. Keep funding. And I like to I'm a nerd. I like to get my taxes done as early as possible. But mm -hmm. here's why. I want to know if I'm going to owe or if I'm going to have a refund because you don't owe that money until April 18th. That's true. Well, let's talk about that a little bit because I know a lot of people are like, ooh, I'm going to get my tax refund. Oh my, I'm going to do my taxes. I want to do my taxes early so I buttons. can get my thousands and thousands of dollar check so I can, I don't know, go do something that you're probably going to spend it all. It's like they think Uncle Sam is Uncle Santa and he's just gifting <sighs> you money because you've been such a good boy. It's a horrible. It's just horrible the amount of money that people lend the government with 0%. no interest. Zero percent. Man, I wish, man. That drives me crazy. So here's the deal. If you get a refund, it, it is not a blessing. Yes, it's, it's better than like owing $10,000, but you are just lending that money to the government interest-free when you do that. So you want to get as close to zero as possible, mm -hmm. believe it or not. You don't, you don't want to owe much, and you don't want to get a big refund. And there's something mentally about that, right? When you, when you set up your withholdings to where it's correct, right? That's to where you're not, it's, yeah. You get the perfect amount you get the perfect paid. amount but then that money is is cash flowed within your normal monthly you know flow 
And you're more likely to do something smart with that money. It's going to be worked into your budget. When it's you probably get a refund, going towards debt. It's going to something fun. Oh, I know y'all. It's you're going getting to a the vacation. You're getting, you're getting jet skis. You're out here buying, I don't know, a Peloton. Y'all are out here really buying things with these, with these returns. You're going on vacation. Unless you're a baby Disney. stepper. If you're a baby stepper, you're like, sweet, that's going towards my debt. That's true. That is true. I just think it's harder that way. It is. I think it's like. We're I, all children deep down. I need to know. Do you happen to know the average? I don't know if there's a number for that. Like the average return. I was talking to a in friend. In my head, one day. it's like three grand. Oh, that's was, just in my head. I was talking to a friend. He was. I said, "What? Like, what type of return? Like, what type of tax return do you get?" He said his was eight thousand dollars. Wow. Eight? Th- is that normal? Somebody needs to come into my DMs at Jade Warshaw and tell me is that normal? That can't be right. So here's here's Golly. the thing to think about if you're trying to pay off debt and you're like. Well, inflation, and there's so much happening in the economy, I don't have the margin to pay off debt. One thing you can do is change those withholdings if you keep getting a big refund every year because that money will go back into your bank account instead of sitting with Uncle Sam all year. And that's what we're talking about. We're talking about you uh, being able to get the maximum amount out of your paycheck. You know, sometimes the way it's set up automatically, it's not in your best interest. And you can actually go back on there, claim more dependents, however it is that you do it to even that out so you're having more money in your check each month and like i said before chances are you're going to be smarter at spending that money yes and our team has uh, painstakingly created an amazing hub as a resource to all of our listeners out there at ramseysolutions.com slash taxes so we have articles resources there's an incredible tax prep checklist that's free i use it every year and i just go down the line and i start going yep got that oh i gotta go print that i gotta go save that good job george I'm, i know i told you i'm a nerd i i ima- when you said that you did it i really imagined it and i was like yes george does do this i live it out i can see it <laughs> and the uh, the other thing you can do is if you are one of those that does it on your own you use software you got to check out ramsey smart tax this is the no nonsense tax software that you can actually trust there's no hidden fees. There's no hidden agenda. We're not here as a gateway drug to get you into debt products like <clears throat> TurboTax. Uh, sorry, I said it out loud. Hey, George, you know, what I to- you know what I told you before the break? Yes. You have uh, experience with Intuit, which is the parent company. Guys, I used, I, it's hard for me to even get it out of my mouth. Well, if you're wondering why, I used to work for Intuit. If you're wondering why I have feelings about that, we did an entire episode on my podcast, The Fine Print, about TurboTax and how TurboTax is trying to screw you over. I we remember. go through their shareholder uh, presentation about how they're going to make a bajillion dollars Ugh. from you all, America, and it's it has not nothing good. to do with taxes. It's about how they're going to use you to create loans and debt and create money from interest to yeah. make themselves bajillionaires yeah. while you stay broke. It's not good. No, I did into it as a side hustle. <laughs> I'm glad you kept it on the side, and now it's it's gone. It's gone. She gone. Oh, she gone. Woo! Well, you can check she out gone. check out all of those resources, including Ramsey Smart Tax, our awesome tax software. Just go to RamseySolutions.com/taxes. And like I said, I know this is no one's favorite thing to think about. It's not on your top ten list of favorite things. It's number eleven for me. I was gonna say, I think you like this, George. I think this is <laughs> this might be. I what like. It- you know what? It feels very productive to get it done. And here's what okay. me and my wife do: we will schedule a a date. Right after we finish our taxes, we go to a really nice meal to George. treat ourselves because we're adulting. I'm so proud of you. Let me Thank tell you. you something. If Sam Warshaw said to me, Jade, date the, date, night. the date night is tax night. Post tax return I'm date night. I'm shutting her down. I'm shutting it down right there. I'm like, what? Okay, not quite romantic. <laughs> I need to do a better job of that. No, George, you you do your thug thizzle. But it just, it's good thing. to get it in the rear view mirror. Get it done, folks. If you're, you do tax software, go ahead and start that process at the end of January. That's if right. you meet with a tax pro, that's great. Schedule that now because it's about to get crazy for those tax preparers out there. And don't go to those H&R blocks inside no. of the Walmart. Find a real professional. Yes. Sorry to dog H&R block, but Be not real. a fan.